October 15th, uh, nice day. Two good trades. One I'm st is still open. One I locked in about a 22% gain, I think it was. Uh, and one trade actually got shaken out and the stock continued higher, much, much, much higher without me. So it could have been a huge day for me had I not gotten shaken out. I got shaken out on Tilray um, and the stock continued higher without me, way higher. Um, so it could have been a big, uh, uh, you know, a big day for me, but I caught a really nice trade in AGRX and I opened up a new swing trade in the, um, spy. Okay. The ETF the tracks, the S and P 500 SPY. Um, I opened up a put option trade in that. And I think the market is going to drift lower over the next couple of days. I don't think we're going to see a huge panic sell off like we saw last week. Um, but to me, it just seems like the market is just kind of is weak. Um, I don't really see a strong bid stepping in to buy this market. The last couple of times that the S&P has pulled in and especially has tested that 200 day moving average, it was bought up very aggressively and very quickly. Now you're not seeing that action. We're actually having a very hard time getting back above the 200 day moving average. The 200 day moving average has become an area of resistance for the spy. So I'm looking for the stock for the market as a, as a whole to continue lower. First thing I'm going to do with you um, on this video is cover a beautiful textbook TTG triangle pattern on AGRX that has a really nice important lesson about volume that I want to cover with you. Uh, after I cover that with AGRX, the reason why I placed the trade, where I did, when I did, you know what my analysis was and go over the pattern. It's a beautiful TTG triangle. Then I'm going to get into that SPY put option trade with you. I'll let you guys know what contract it is that I ended up buying, what my expectations are, what my hold time is, um, and all that good stuff. Before I get into that, I want to remind you guys tomorrow is TTG Tuesday. Okay, TTG Tuesday is when um, we open up our premium chat room free for everyone. So if you guys want to trade with me live tomorrow, go to truetradinggroup.com. In the top right-hand corner, you're going to click on TTG Tuesday. Register. You'll get a link that will give you access for the day into our premium chat room at True Trading Group where you guys can, can see my screen, hear me live on the microphone, um, and see what it is that I'm doing and the trades that I'm making live in real time. Okay. So again, truetradinggroup.com, upper right hand corner, TTG Tuesday, click on that on the, he the little header on the homepage and register and you guys can come trade with me live tomorrow. All right. So let's get into this AGRX, this beautiful TTG triangle setup. AGRX opened up at a nice strong push off the opening bell and establishes that initial morning high. The initial morning high is established after the stock gives you that first real pullback. I'm not talking about like a, a micro, you know, 20 second pullback I'm like, or a one minute pullback. I'm talking about a real actual pullback where you can clearly see that share price had pulled in for, you know, longer than just 20 seconds, like an actual real pullback. So you got your first pullback at the initial morning high, and then you see that initial morning high is broken to the upside on big volume. Okay. At the time that we broke through the initial morning high, it was on the heaviest volume the stock traded the whole morning so far. Okay. When you see that, you look for that initial morning high to hold support. Okay. That is very key to, the, to this setup because every time a stock breaks through a high of the day or the initial morning high or, you know, a subsequent high throughout the day, you have to pay attention to the volume that comes in on the break through that high. Okay, because stocks will have a tendency to find support at that previous high. Okay, and the heavier the volume is when that high is broken, the greater the chance of that level becoming support. And that's what this trade was all about. Okay, so there's your initial morning high. We break through it on real strong volume, the heaviest volume the stock traded on the morning, and then you get the pullback. We pull back in, we retest that initial morning high, and we hold. We bounce back up, put in a lower high pull back in and retest that previous high one more time, creating this downtrend resistance line to create your TTG triangle pattern. There it is, guys, your TTG triangle. And then you got the break through the downtrend resistance line, big, huge volume comes pouring in and the stock explodes up through highs. I got long, guys. I got a partial fill right here at 91 cents. I got a partial fill on this pull-in 
and then I got a complete full fill at 91 cents right here on that red candle pullback. I got a complete fill. Okay, I'll take you to my trade announcements on the day. Here we are at 9.52 a.m. Long AGRX 91, stop loss 85 cent area. Okay, back to the chart on this huge break through the high of the day. I took some profit off right there at 105. Back to my trade announcements. Here we are. Took some profit at 105, still holding some. And then at 10.51, so exactly one hour after my entry, I sold the bulk of my position at 111. I believe that's a 22% gain. So on this little pop through right here is when I took more profit off the table right there at 111. That's where I sold the bulk of my position from that 91 cent entry point. And then later on in the day, um, I ended up selling out of this position right there at a dollar is when I sold the final piece of that position. I was holding on to some, looking to see if we get continuation into the close. Uh, we got a pull back into the close, so I ended up bailing on that position. But we are trading higher here after market, so I still do have this on my watch list for tomorrow. But that little pullback there before the close kind of got me out of the rest of that position. But still a really nice trade. Uh, and the other thing that I want to point out to you is, remember what I was just talking about, about noticing the volume that comes in every time a stock breaks through the high of the day? Well, when AJRX broke through the second high of the day, okay, this previous high, the volume was, again, the strongest the stock had experienced the whole day, okay? So when you do that, here, here was your previous high, okay? We broke through that high on huge volume. We get a pullback. And bang, we stick that previous high support. We pull back in, test it one more time. Okay, we hold support and the stock continues and climbs higher. Okay, so again, guys, every time the stock breaks through the high of the day, take note of the volume. The heavier the volume, the greater the chance of that previous high acting as support. And it was picture perfect textbook on AGRX. A lot of members caught this trade today. Congrats to those that did. It was a nice trade. Now let's get to that spy trade. Let's go to the daily chart on this one. Here's your daily chart on the SPY, guys. This purple lines are 200-day moving average. You can see after we broke below it on Thursday, we tried to get back above on Friday, couldn't. Tried to get back above it again today, couldn't. Closed the low of the day, okay? I think the, the market's going to get down into this area, down in here, so I bought some put options today. You can see back here as I, you know, we pan this over, Okay, every time that the market got down to that 200 day, you can see it was aggressively bought back up. Okay, you can see it was aggressively bought back up. Okay, you can see it was aggressively bought back up. Okay, you see we get down here again, it was aggressively bought back up. Okay, every time we got down to that 200 day moving average, you saw a real nice snap back in the market showing aggressive buying pressure stepping in in front of that 200 day. And now as I pan this over to today, much different, much different picture. We broke below it, no bounce. There's no bounce. You would have, you would have expected to see something like this. We're not getting it. The market seems sluggish. The market seems tired. I don't think we're going to get panic selling like we saw Wednesday and Thursday. I think that move is kind of that panic liquidation move is, is over for the time being. But I don't think the market catches a real strong bid. I don't think anyone's in a rush to buy this dip up. That's why I think we're going to slowly trade back down towards 270. So I'm also looking at guys on a 15-minute chart. I want to show you guys on a 15-minute chart a nice bear flag setup, okay? Here is a nice bear flag setup that I was looking at during the day today. And we started to break down uh, below out of that flag pattern right into the close. You see this little dip right into the close. Now we're just kind of trading sideways here after market. But here's your big strong down move. Okay, a little flag pattern consolidation with real nice resistance at 277. Here's your upper, I mean your bottom uh, support trend line. Break below it. Sell off into the, into the close. I'm looking for a gap down and some continuation lower tomorrow. I'll take it to my trade announcements, guys. Here we are at 2.11 p.m. Long a SPY put option with a 274 strike. October 19th expiration. I got those contracts at $1.78 a pop. Okay? So, again, SPY put option. This is a swing trade. I'm long the SPY put option. 274 strike. 1019 expiration from $1.78. And my first take profit on this, guys, will be the S&P down to 272.50 to 272. 
My second take profit will be the S&P down towards 270. And my absolute final take profit, if we get there, will be 268 on the S&P or on the SPY, excuse me, on the SPY. That'll be my final take profit. All right. My contracts expire on the 19th. All right. So Friday. And I'm looking for some further downside and some further weakness tomorrow, Wednesday, kind of just throughout the rest of the week. I just kind of expect like a slow little drift lower in the market. So that's what I'm playing. That's what I'm playing it for. All right. So we'll see if we get it. All right. Um, I expect a um, I expect a gap down tomorrow in the overall markets. We'll see if we get it. AJRX still on my watch list, trading higher after market. I hope you guys come join me in chat tomorrow, TGG Tuesday. Again, it is free. Go to truetradinggroup.com, click on the top right-hand corner, sign up for TGG Tuesday, register. You'll get the link. You guys can come and chat and share with me live. I hope to see a lot of my YouTube community in there tomorrow. I would love to trade with you guys. Send me a direct message. Say what's up. I'd love to hear from you and trying to bounce some trade ideas off one another. I'll see you guys in chat tomorrow. Take care.